Welcome back to Reading with Robots. I'm Eric Ball, a member of Wave Robotics, a FIRST Robotics team from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Today, I'm reading with my great buddy, Pollux. This is the robot we built for the 2019 deep space season. Today's book is If I Built a House by Chris Van Dusen. Jack, in the backyard, said to his mother, This house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. My house will be different. It can't be the norm. I'll think about traffic flow, function, and form. Oh, it may include shapes like a tower or dome, but I'll, show, I'll focus on what makes a building a home. It's the rooms on the inside that make it unique. So step through the door and let's take a peek. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen o -mat. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's done by a space age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. The living room's next. It's fun, come on in. The chairs and the tables and the sofa all spin and trampolines lead into a giant ball pit. It's pretty. It's a pretty neat room, you'd have to admit. Now, look in the bathroom. No shower, no tub. Instead, take a ride on my scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Just step on the belt and it washes you clean, even the places that you've never seen. And here is my bedroom, way up in the sky, on top of a tower 200 feet high. With glass all around, just check out the view. A bed in a tower, now that is something new. The rooms we walk through just moments before are all kinds that you find in any decor. But if I built a house, I'll add a few more. So hop on the slide, it's time to explore. You know how I constantly like, the, like to create? Well, this is my art room, isn't it great? You'll draw on the wall, don't worry, it's cool. Hung up high on a big giant spool. It's a huge roll of paper that hangs from the, to the floor. Just draw till you're done and then pull out some more. Next comes the flying room. See how it's tall? It's empty except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float to the ground. Then flap like a bird and fly all around. Isn't it nice to be up in the air? A room without gravity, now that is pretty rare. This is my racetrack room. Step right inside. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with super fast go-karts that don't make a sound. You'll fly and you'll flip and you'll zip and you'll zoom. You'd have to admit it's a wonderful room. A room filled with water. Now that's something new. But if I built a house, that's just what I'd do. This is my fish tank room, ain't, ain't a, a sight. Don't worry, they're friendly, the critters won't bite. Just snap on the air, mag, air mask to swim with the fishies. Now this is a room that every kid wishes. Of course I've been saving the best room for last. And literally speaking, this room is a blast. So welcome, sit down, I'll seal you up the hatches. This is plexiglass playroom, completely detaches. You fly it around, why it even has jets. For me, this room is as good as it gets. My house will be nifty and my house will be neat. My house will stand out as the best on the street. Darling, bold yet exquisitely fine. A must-see example of the modern design. My house will be hailed as refreshingly new. If I built a house, that's just what I'd do. First is opportunities for learners of all ages to engage in robotics activities from kindergarten throughout high school. For more information, visit firstinspires.org. Thank you guys so much for listening and joining us on Reading with Robots. Have a great day.